Hey guys, what's going on? So today's video is going to be a little different. What I wanted to do is talk about my thoughts on why I think Dragonflight will be an overall success compared to the other expansions in WoW. Yeah, I know the famous meme here where they release a bad expansion, followed by a bad patch, release content that and fixes players want, sell the next expansion, rinse and repeat. I am well aware <laughs> this could happen, but something feels different about Blizzard as a whole, as well as how they have gone about this expansion thus far. If this happens, well, we can revisit when it does, and you guys can shame me to no end. All right, before we get into the video, make sure you like it, subscribe to the channel. You can also find a link to our Discord, as well as my Twitch channel in the description below. All right, so the first part I wanna talk about is back to the basics. You know, I've heard people talk about, well, there is no extra power to grind. There are no other systems to do outside of leveling, this, that, and the other. Well, exactly. Blizzard has this bad habit of trying to reinvent the wheel every two years or so. Then the player base gets continuously frustrated by the time gating, the stripping away of your power, the new systems, and ultimately your time and effort mean nothing going to the next patch because of this. Nothing is more frustrating than going into an expansion and having to start over and your player feels more or less stripped of their powers. I may be an optimist here, but I believe the reason they have been able to release Dragonflight this year is because of exactly this. They don't have an entire system of 100 plus legendaries, conduits, soulbinds, covenant abilities to balance. That must be a development nightmare, and I cannot imagine that. I think the development team has much more of a brain shelf and bandwidth to be able to make this game as good as it can be and go back to the basics. You will play your class, you will grow your class, and you'll use your class abilities, not borrow power abilities, and I can't wait. The next part I want to talk about was the Evoker. It is a non melee class. You can check my math on this, but I think there are currently 13 melee specs, 11 range DPS specs, 6 tanks, and 6 healers. WoW has never had a new range DPS spec, and we actually lost one with Survival Hunter going to melee. We've gained 3 tanks and 3 melee DPS with the introduction of Death Knights and Monks, Demon Hunters, and I've only gained 1 healing spec with Miss Weaver Monk. I think people are going to be incredibly excited not only to play a new class because it's not a melee or a tank, and because it's a range DPS and a healer, and a very unique one at that. Probably the biggest one people are excited about is this alt friendly. Dragonflight adopts the Renown system from Shadowlands expansion in a more simplified form. Renown rewards in Dragonflight are account wide, and Renown is capped at 30 at launch with the exception of the Centaurs, where that is capped at 25 right now on the beta. On the latest Dragonflight beta build, new Renown rewards have been added to help alts catch up on Renown. At Renown levels 10 and 20, you'll gain a 100% increased reputation while below that Renown level. That is awesome. You know, Blizzard has this weird way of thinking that items and currency tied to one character will make you want to go play those alts for their monthly active user count. Now, that's just my opinion in the bit of a hot take, but the reality is this has the opposite effect on people and it makes them not want to play their alts because of the ground up grind. A great example of this is Xerath Mortis in Shadowlands, where at the start of that, nothing was account wide or character wide. You pretty much had to do everything from the start and eventually go back to the meme I said in the intro, they made all that currency, Sandsworn Relics, Cosmic Flux, account wide. Now, last but absolutely not least, the new talent systems. Long gone are the days of zero class custom ability and everything was very cookie cutter. These new talent trees are absolutely incredible and really make your class feel like your class. You can play however you want, optimal or not. You will likely have certain builds for dungeons, affixes, bosses, raids, group makeups, so on and so forth. I feel like this level of customization is exactly what the community has wanted for years and I honestly think Blizzard hit it out of the park with this one. So yeah, those are just a few of my reasons I think Dragonflight will be a major success. I would love to hear down in the comments below your reasons why you think this will be good and if you disagree with any of mine please let me know see you in the next one